Hi, welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. I'm your host, Tatiana. In today's video, we are going to make gummy bears. You don't have to make them as gummy bears, but I have a two year old, and so he's gonna think these are fun. But you can also use a pan and just cut out squares. The recipe is the same. You will need some sort of gelatin. I am using grass-fed unflavored gelatin. It's supposed to help with the inner lining of your stomach. If you are vegan, you can use agar agar. You can use juice and you can use any type of sweetener like sugar. I am using monk fruit because since I'm giving these to my toddler, I want him to have as little sugar as possible. And then you'll need something to mix it really quickly. So I'm using a whisk. You can also use a fork and I'm using a spatula. You can use these droppers to put them into the molds, but this might be really difficult to clean afterwards. So I'm going to just pour it directly into the molds. And then you'll want a couple of cloths. The first one you'll want to put inside the pan so that it won't be bouncing around inside the pan and possibly break the glass. You need a Pyrex glass. The reason for this is because it can handle a lot of heat. So you'll put it inside the pan just like that. This cutting board that I'm going to put the molds on so that when I put it into the refrigerator, if I bounce it too much, it might spill. So it'll spill onto the cutting board and not into my fridge. Okay, with all of that said, let's get into it. So these are my son's gummies. These have vitamins in them. So this is what we're going for. Yeah, when I think of gummy bears, I think of this chewy, yummy, sweet goodness. I rinsed this off because it's brand new. And I heard that if you don't spray it with oil, it can be really difficult to get this out. I don't have an oil spray, so what I'm going to do is use grapeseed oil and just put it on my paper towel like this. And I'm just gonna go in and try and get as much as possible here. This will prevent the gummies from sticking to the mold so that they can have an easy release. And I'm gonna also put it on the outside just in case some of the gelatin falls onto the mold. It's just easier to remove. In this recipe, we will use organic frozen mango chunks, organic apple juice, monk fruit, grass-fed gelatin, and honey. Use one third cup measuring cup. Put the frozen mango chunks into the blender with the one third cup of apple juice and one third cup of monk fruit. Blend it really well. And then with the double boiler, add the honey and you wanna add it right away so it can start heating up because when you mix in the juice with the monk fruit and the mango chunks, it'll mix really well in that. Use a whisk to mix it very well and also test with a clean finger to make sure it's very sweet. When you add the gelatin, it removes about half of the sweetness. Now with a third cup of gelatin, start sprinkling it in and use the whisk to combine the ingredients until all of the gelatin is in the mix. And then you'll want to mix it even further for about three or four minutes, making sure that everything is well incorporated. Now the water from the double boiler shouldn't be boiling, but it should be really hot. If you burn it, then a lot of these vitamins and amino acids can be lost so you want to heat it up just under the boiling point so it's making this nice syrupy type of texture so here's the cloth and you want to lift up your pyrex and dry it because you don't want any of the moisture or the water of the pyrex to go onto your mold now the molds, you want to pour it just enough so that it's under full, because when it's full, it'll give you a rounded back. 
So if you want a flat back, just don't fill it completely. I messed up because, well, this is just me. I just mess up on a lot of the things that I try out, but it's okay. They're still going to taste the same. They're still going to have this yummy, gooey flavor. This needs to be washed immediately. This is clean. Clean everything else that has that gel stuff. I forgot about this. Use the drywall screen. It's just gonna get all that gel stuff. Oh, I still have a little bit more, so I just gotta get it out. But yeah, not the easiest thing to clean, so. Dry it really well. Yeah, that looks clean. And I had enough for one tray, as you can see, and a little bit left over. And I left it out on the counter for about 10 minutes, and then I put it into the refrigerator for an hour, but I checked on it after only 30 minutes and it was already ready to pop out. They should be able to pop out really easily because I've already pre-oiled them and I can just put my finger behind it and just pop it out really easily and it leaves no residue behind. And these are actually gummy penguins. Aren't they cute? Lions, elephants, gummy bears, and gummy monkeys. So I'd recommend grabbing these ones because it just gives it a little more variety and more fun. Okay, here's an honest taste test of the gummy bear. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me test with my husband. Okay, taste. It could be, could be really healthy. <laughs> yeah, those are mommy's gummy bears. It's on the side of your lip, put it in your mouth. No. And the flavor I think is still really good. My husband and my two-year-old did not like them, but maybe they're just really used to those store-bought gummies. You do have to use syrup for those and they're really high in sugar. I think these are great and they're super healthy, so you might wanna give them a try. See if you like them. Hey, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Peace. Watch this video next if you are interested in more.